Hello mga kawamat, sa video lesson na ito, i-discuss natin kung paano mag-solve ng radical equations. So, a radical equation is an equation with one unknown in one or more of the radicals. So, meron tayong steps kung paano i-solve o kunin yung value ng yung solution ng radical equations. So, first, i-isolate natin yung radical term. Pangalawa, square both sides of the equation. And pangatlo, if all radicals have been eliminated, then after that, isosolve na natin. If radical terms remain, then balik tayo sa step number 1, i-isolate natin yung radical term, and then square natin both sides. And after that, i-check natin yung nakuha nating value ng x or yung solution natin. Kasi baka mamaya, hindi sila equal. Okay? So, for example, meron tayong square root of x plus 1 is equal to 5. So, ang una natin gagawin, i-isolate natin no, yung uh, radical natin. So, so, ang gagawin natin, isolate natin yung radical natin. So, si positive 1, ilipat natin sa kabila. Okay? Or, pwede naman by using the subtraction property, property of equality, no, mag-subtract tayo ng negative 1. Okay, so therefore, magiging square root of x na lang yan is equal to 4. Bakit? So, pag uh, applying the pwedeng addition property of equality, so uh, add tayo both equation ng negative 1. So, kapag nag-add tayo ng negative 1, so positive 1 minus 1, so cancel na ito, 5 minus 1, that is 4. And after that, so after natin ma-isolate yung radical, yung radical natin, i-square natin both sides. Of the equation. Bakit i-square natin? Kasi yung index niya, 2. Okay. Kaya i-square natin both side of the equation. So, square root of x squared and is equal to the, is equal to 4 squared. So, square root of squared. So, pwede natin, no? Squaring both side. So, pwede natin masimplify ito using the, uh, yung unang napag-aralan natin. So, square root of x squared. So, matatanggal din natin to Yung radical natin. So, x na lang yan. And then, 4 times 4, the answer is 16. So, to check na tama yung nakuha natin value ng x. So, using the original equation. Using the original equation. Okay? So, i-check natin kung true ba yung solution na nakuha natin. So, substitute lang natin yung value ng x. And that is... Square root of 16 plus 1 is equal to 5. So, tingnan natin. Square root of 16, that is 4, plus 1 is equal to 5. So, 4 plus 1, the answer is 5, is equal to 5. So, therefore, uh, yung solution na nakuha natin is true. Okay, ibig sabihin, tama ito. Next. Cube root of x minus 1. Minus 3 is equal to 1. Okay, so same format, isolate the radical. So, malilipat ngayon si negative 3 sa right side. So, cube root of x minus 1 is equal to 1 plus 3. And 1 plus 3, that is 4. So, after ngayon class, so after nito, ang gagawin natin, i-cube root natin both side. So, bakit i-cube na, ah, i-cube pala, not cube root. Cube, i-cube natin both side of the equation. Bakit cube class? Kanina, in-squared natin. Kasi class, yung index natin dito ay 3. Kung ano yung index, yun ang gagawin natin. So, cube root of x minus 1, okay, to the third power. So, pag kinub root natin, kinub natin to, yung cube root of x minus 1, magiging ano na lang, x minus 1. And then, 4 cube or 4 times 4 times 4, that is 64. So, pwede natin lipat si negative 1 sa kabila. So, x is equal to 65. Kasi negative 1, no? 64 plus 1, that is 65. Okay, check natin kung tama yung nakuha natin value ng x. So, using the original equation, so, cube root of x minus 1 minus 3 is equal to 1. And then, palitan natin yung x natin ng 65. So, that is cube root of 65 minus 1 minus 3 is equal to 1. And 65 minus 1, the answer is 64. 
Ang cube root ng 64, that is 4. No? Cube root ng 64 ay 4 yon Minus 3, so that is 1 is equal to 1. So therefore, yung 65 is a true solution. Another, cube root of 3x plus 4 is equal to cube root of x minus 2. So, naka-isolate naman na yung ano natin, no? yung given natin. So, therefore, ang gagawin nilang natin, i-cube natin both uh, equation. So, i-cube natin both equation. So, sa left side, magiging ano na lang, 3x plus 4. And then, sa, left, uh, sa right side, magiging x minus 2. And then, combine similar terms. Okay. So, 3x minus x is equal to negative 2 minus 4. And negative 2 minus 4, that is negative 6. 3x minus x, that is 2x. To solve for x, i-divide both side, divide both side by 2. So, negative 6 divide 2. The answer is negative 3. So, i-check ulit natin kung tama yung nakuha natin na value ng x. Okay, using the original equation, Uh, radical equation rather so substitute natin si negative 3 so that is 3 times negative 3 plus 4 negative 3 minus 2 and negative uh, 3 times negative 3 that is 9 or negative 9 plus 4 and negative 3 minus 2 that is negative 5 negative 9 plus 4 the answer is negative 5 or that is the cube root of negative 5 is equal to the cube root of negative 5 so Negative 3 is a true solution. Next. Square root of x plus 3 is equal to square root of x plus 3. Okay. So, after nito, anong gagawin natin? Yes, square na natin yung equation natin. Square natin yung equation natin. And then, after that, so, the uh, square root of x plus 3 squared so magiging x plus 3 na lang no and then dito sa right side natin pag titingnan natin sa right side nating class meron tayong square root of x plus 3 si 3 hiwalay doon kay x so hindi natin pwede gawin yung ginawa natin sa left side na kinuha na yung x plus 3 dito hindi so ito ay kagaya ng multiplying of two binomials so pwede tayong gumamit ng foil method para mas solve yan no square root of x plus 3 times square root of x plus 3. So, pwede kayong gumamit ng foil method dyan. So, that is square root of x times square root of x. That is square root of x squared. Square root of x times 3. That is 3 square root of x. 3 times square root of x is 3 square root of x. And 3, plus, uh, 3 times positive 3. That is positive 9. And then, combine similar terms. Pwede natin ito pagsamahin. Kasi same yung index. Same din yung radicand. So, that is square root ng x squared, that is x na lang, plus 6 square root of x plus 9. So, ay, so ang 9 pwede natin lipat doon. So, magiging... So, kapag si x, nilipat pala natin dito, 0 na. Okay? And then, si 9, pag nilipat ko doon, magiging 3 minus 9, that is negative 6. So, ang maiwan na lang dito ay 6 square root of x. Tama? So, after nyan... Uh, since susolve natin yung value ng x, i-divide natin both equation kay 6. So, negative 6 divide 6, the answer is negative 1. So, 6 divide 6, makakancel na yon may iwan na lang si square root of x. Since naka-radical pa rin, okay, so yung ano natin, yung radical term natin remains, so balik tayo sa umpisang step natin. So, i-ano natin, no? I-squared natin yung radical natin. So, squared both equation. So, negative 1 squared is equal to square root of x squared. And negative 1 squared, negative 1 times negative 1, that is positive 1, is equal to x. So, check natin kung tama yung nakuha nating value ng x using the original equation. So, substitute lang natin. 1 plus 3 is equal to square root of 1 plus 3. So, square, uh, 1 plus 3, that is 4. And square root of 1 plus 3. And that is square root of 4, that is 2. Square root of 1, that is 1 plus 3. So, 2 is not equal to 4. So, ibig sabihin, 1. So, ibig sabihin sa radical equation na given natin, there is no real solution. Okay. So, 1 is not the solution of this radical equation. At saka, uh, wala talaga. There is no real solution sa given na to. 
Okay, for question number 5, okay, the legs of right triangle are congruent and the hypotenuse is 5 square root of 2 units long. Find, okay, so I use it. Okay, find the length of each leg. Okay, first, so yung Pythagorean theorem natin, uh, we can apply Pythagorean theorem, no? That is C squared or A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Then after nyan, is a substitute lang natin yung value nung dalawang legs sa yung hypotenuse natin. So A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So papalitan lang natin yung A squared natin, yung A natin ng X. Since they are equal, kasi nga congruent yung dalawang legs, so parehas silang, uh, yung A at B natin, same na X. Okay, kaya maging X squared plus X squared is equal to, yung C natin dito itong 5 squared of 2, that is the hypotenuse. So 5 squared of 2 squared. So X squared plus X squared, that is 2X squared. And then ito, kapag in-squared natin yung 5, magiging 25. In-squared natin yung square root of 2, magiging 2 na lang yan. Kaya, imumultiply natin yung uh, squared ng square root of 2 kay 5. And that is, 20, uh, 5 squared kasi 25. So, imumultiply natin. So, that is 2x squared is equal to 50. And we can divide both equation by 2. So, maging x squared equals 25. And then, after that, so, apply, apply the, anong pwede natin i-apply? Yung square root, root, square root property. So, applying the square root property, so, x is equal to positive or negative square root of 25. And the answer is, x is equal to positive negative 5. So, ang hindi natin isasama si negative 5, dahil class, wala, nire-reject natin, no, yung negative solution. Since ang, Ang pinag-uusapan natin dito is yung length ng leg. And then, yung length ng leg is laging positive. So, therefore, ang sagot natin is x is equal to 5. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson your Walmart channel.